In this morning's Health Watch, drink this, not that. You may be tempted this holiday season to consume a few too many festive beverages. Please be careful. Also, each is potentially packed with more fat, calories, and sugar than most desserts. Here with advice on which holiday drinks to skip and which to enjoy is Matt Bean, contributed to Eat This, Not That, the series. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Great to see you, as always. Let's get right to it. Eggnog, a holiday staple, you say, nah, Eggs skip this, it. nog that. <laughs> All right. No, eggnog is a sneaky source of calories because it's basically eggs, mm -hmm. heavy cream, and sugar. So there's almost 500 calories in this wow. egg right now. Instead, we're saying make your own hot toddy. Break out the crock pot, a little bit of whiskey, a little bit of bourbon if you want. You can mm -hmm. put some cloves in there or some other spices. And then all you need is some lemon juice and some honey. It's delicious, about 160 calories. Oh, a big difference. And that includes the eggnog. That includes the whiskey, the, 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 the booze. Gonna <laughs> that, be, the calorie That's count? extra on top. That's extra if you put yep. booze in it. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's talk about coffee drinks right now. Sure. Now, we've got a couple of options here for star from Starbucks. Now, Starbucks is all about choosing the right option. First off, we've got basically a calorie and fat delivery system, 640 calories. <laughs> Calories in this peppermint Whoa. white chocolate oh my mocha. It's the equivalent, you know, the equivalent of, of, of many, many fudgicles. So instead, we're going to go with this drink here, which is mm -hmm. sort of a DIY holiday drink. It's a grande cappuccino and then a couple pumps of the peppermint flavoring. So you're going to get down to about 190 calories with that option. Big instead. difference. Also, there's no whipped cream on top of this. <laughs> with, that's right. That that's right. Well. That's optional. <laughs> beer. A lot of folks are going to consume beer sure. over the holidays. You've got a dark beer here. Now, typically, are dark beers more caloric than light uh, beers? Not usually. I mean, something like a stout usually gets that dark color from the malt, which um, doesn't necessarily have the calories in it. It's mm -hmm. the alcohol. So this is a seasonal beer from Sam Adams. They make a bunch of great seasonal beers. This one's the Old Fezzi. Wig. It's about 215 calories. Put in right. the context of all these other drinks, it's not that bad. I right. always say, enjoy your beer and just take the stairs. <laughs> but in this case, when you compare it against the light option, this is one of our favorite light beers. It's mm -hmm. Sam Adams Light, about 119 calories. So about a half as many calories as the heavier winter beers. And a lot of these winter beers are boozier. They're yeah. designed, you can lay them down and age them if you want. In this case, that's where the extra calories come in. Okay. This one broke my heart. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts yes. hot chocolate. Well, here is the face. problem with the hot chocolate, which is about 450 calories. It's got as much sugar as 21 cocoa glazed munchkins in it. <laughs> so, And it's got 21 mm. ingredients in it. You think about making your own hot chocolate. You don't oh. need much in there. You don't need 21 ingredients, certainly. But instead of going with their hot chocolate, we're saying the mocha hot coffee. You're still going to get your chocolate fix, and you're going to have about half as many calories. Mm. Okay. All right. Stay, I'll stay away. <laughs> stay away. That's a weakness. All right. You got the Cosmo here, which yes. a lot of folks are going to be drinking on the holidays. Oh, it, 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 it looks drinking really fast. Cosmo. All oh, that's our drink, holidays. Matt. Exactly. <laughs> um, but you say stay away from this one. Stay away because this <clears throat> martini with all the fruit juice in it has some sneaky sources of sugar. So instead of going with about 200 calories, 210 calories for the Cosmo, we're going to say go with the champagne. Now, champagne's great because it has a built in portion awareness system. Look at the glass. It's a, it's a tiny glass. So 75 true. calories, true. about a gram of sugar, and no fat in there. Mm. We talked about these, and these are just individual. Let's say you're at a party, you're there for a while. You're going to have one or two of these. You know, Certainly. Perhaps. And you got to be careful. And think about all of these drinks is that if you drink poorly or if you eat poorly over the holiday season, the average person gains a pound. And if you mm -hmm. had the chocolate mocha over here, the yeah. white chocolate uh -huh. mocha, every day between Thanksgiving and New right. Year's, you gain eight pounds. Is that right? Eight pounds oh right gosh. to the gut. Uh, Matt Bean, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You're Great welcome. advice this morning.